हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्शन पार्ट टू ओके वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड द मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्शन फॉर ओनली ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड इंडिविजुअल ऑब्जर्वेशन हाउ टू फाइंड द क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री फॉर द इंडिविजुअल ऑब्जर्वेशन नाउ दिस इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ टेन क्वार्टाइल फॉर द फॉलोइंग एफ डी वी हैव टू फाइंड द क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री ओके फॉर द फॉलोइंग एफ डी फ्रिक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मीन्स वी हैव टू यूज दिस फॉर्मूला फॉर क्यू वन एल प्लस एन बाय फोर माइनस सी एफ अपॉन एफ इंटू एच फॉर क्यू टू क्यू टू इज आर मीडियन ओके दिस इज आर मीडियन वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दिस मीडियन ओके क्यू थ्री क्यू थ्री इज एल प्लस थ्री एन बाय फोर माइनस सी एफ अपॉन एफ इंटू एच ओके नाउ सी हाउ टू फाइंड द क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री हियर वी वी आर फॉलोइंग द स्टेप्स फॉर फाइंडिंग द मीडियन ओके वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड द मीडियन ओके फॉर द फॉर फाइंडिंग द मीडियन वी गो थ्रू द स्टेप्स ओके सी दिस इज द क्लास ओके वॉट दे गिवन दे गिवन द कंटिन्यूस क्लासेस ओके फोर हंड्रेड टू सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड टू एटीन हंड्रेड एटीन हंड्रेड टू टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड टू ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स हंड्रेड ओके दे गिवन दिस क्लासेस ओके देन फ्रिक्वेंसी रेड डन फ्रिक्वेंसी एज इट इज ट्वेल्व थर्टी फिफ्टी फाइव फोर्टी थर्टी फाइव ओके देन ट्वेंटी एट ओके वी रिक्वायर हियर कैपिटल एन कैपिटल एन मीन्स समेशन एफ This is two hundred. Okay. Now, for finding Q one, Q two, Q three, we have to find here less than cumulative frequency L C F. Okay. All of you know how to find the L C F. It is very easy method. Start from top twelve keep as it is. Then twelve plus thirty addition. Okay. Twelve plus thirty it is forty two. then take addition of this two cumulative addition okay then uh, uh, it is 97 then 137 then 172 and then 200 okay so capital n is 200 it is correct this is lcf okay now apply the uh, first formula okay first quartile q1 what is q1 here q1 is l plus n by four minus c f upon f into h. Okay. See for q one first quartile for q one n by four n by four is n is the two hundred by four. So it is a fiftieth observation. Fiftieth observation. Okay. See here, where is the fifty observation? Here twelve. Twelve is less than n by four. Okay, forty-two is less than n by four. Here, ninety-seven is greater than n by four. Okay. First time exceeds. Okay, I write here fifty. Okay. See. First time exceed. So this is my Q one class. This is my Q one class. Okay. Now. This is a Q one class. Okay, from this class, see what is L? L is the lower, uh, lower limit of that class. So eighteen hundred is the lower limit. Okay, then n by four is fifty. Hmm? C F what? Is, okay, C F is forty uh, two. This is C F just preceding the Q one class. So forty two is the C F. Okay. Then F. 
what is f f is the frequency of that class 1800 to 1055 is the frequency okay h is the class width class width means 2000 minus 1800 so it is 200 okay put all values in the formula q1 is equal to 1800 plus 50 okay minus 42 upon 55 into 200 okay this is q1 okay put all values in the calcium and find out calculator is allowed okay so it is rupees salary eh, na? so rupees 1829 Now uh, we are finding Q2. What is the formula for Q2? Q2 is same uh, as a median. Okay. Uh, it is L plus N by 2 minus CF upon F. Okay. Same steps into H. Okay. Now uh, how to find Q2? And first find N by 2. N by 2 means 200 upon 2. It is 100. Means 100 observation. At first time, 100 ab, uh, observations uh, where it is exceed. Okay. Uh, check here. I remove this. Okay. This also. Okay. At first time, 100 observation exceed here. Okay. 137. At 137. Okay. 100 is less than 137. Hmm. So, uh, this is the q2 class this is my q2 class means median class okay from this class we observe l is 2000 okay see uh, n by 2 is 100 cf is 97 just preceding the q2 class so cf is 97 h is same 200 okay f is the frequency of that class so it is the 40 put all values in the formula q2 is equals to q2 is equals to 2000 plus n by 2 is 100 minus 97 upon 40 into 200 okay put all values in the calculator and find out so my q2 is q2 is 201 this is my Q2. Okay. We have to just follow the steps of median. Okay. Q2 is also median. Okay. Now Q3. How to find the Q3? Now Q3. What is the formula for Q3? Q3 is L plus 3N by 2 minus CF upon F into H. It is also very very simple. First to find 3N by 2. Okay, we already know the n value. So, it is 3 into 200 divided by 2 equal to 150 the observation. Okay, observation. So, check 150 exceed first time at which class? Okay, it exceed first time here. Okay, in this class 22 to 24. It is 150 okay so from this class we write l is 2 2 double 0 lower limit of that class okay see n by 3 n by 2 is uh, 150 h is 200 okay uh, 137 is the cf cumulative frequency of the class in a, of the median class just preceding the Q3 okay 137 then F F is the frequency of that class it is 35 put all va all values in the formula L 2200 plus 150 minus 137 divided by 35 into 200 okay Q3 after calculation what we get here 
Okay, this is my Q3. Okay, take a screenshot. Once you understand the median, then you will understand the Q1, Q2, Q3. How to find the Q1, Q2, Q3. It is very, very simple. Just to follow the steps of median for the quartiles. Next formula is quartile deviation. Okay. Quartile deviation is equal to Q3 minus Q1 upon 2. Coefficient of quartile deviation equal to Q3 minus Q1 upon Q3 plus Q1. Okay. In the examination, they may be asked, find coefficient of quartile deviation. Okay. What we have to find here, only Q1 and Q3. Okay. No need to find Q3, Q, sorry, Q2 here. Okay. Because they ask coefficient of quartile deviation. For the coefficient of quartile deviation, we required only Q1 and Q3. So, don't find Q2 and do not waste your time. Okay. So, same for the quartile deviation. If they ask find quartile deviation, QD. Okay. Then find only Q1 and Q3. No need to find Q2 here. If they ask find quartiles, find quartiles, quartiles, S quartiles, then we need to find Q1, Q2, Q3. Okay. Now next in a new topic is standard deviation and coefficient of variation. Okay, very important topic. Okay. Standard deviation. What is the definition of standard deviation? Once you know the arithmetic mean, then uh, you, you will understood the standard deviation easily. Okay. See the definition. The positive square root of mean of squares of the deviation taken from the arithmetic mean. It's called as the standard deviation. Okay. We will see by using formula. Okay. It is the Remember this statement, positive square root of mean of squares of the deviation. This is the important statement here. Okay, the positive square root of mean of squares of the deviation. Okay, we will see the formula for standard deviation. See, here we discuss the measure of dispersion which satisfies the most of the requis requisites of the goods measures. Okay. And free from the drawbacks present in the other measure of dispersion. That's why we are uh, study the standard deviation and coefficient of variation here. So what is the formula? Formula for uh, standard deviation is sigma. See this is sigma is the Greek letter. Small sigma. Okay. Sigma is equal to under root. Under root. Summation x square upon small n minus x bar square okay see from starting we use this n for the number of observations so this formula is for the only observation for only we can say individual observation individual observation okay now for the frequency distribution formula will change sigma is equal to sigma means what standard deviation standard deviation we write it as a sd standard deviation what is the formula formula the positive square root of mean of squares of the deviation okay summation fx square upon capital n minus x bar square this is for frequency distribution fd all of you know what is the meaning of fd it is frequency distribution here x bar is the mean okay n is the sum of frequency okay so these formula are very important i made box means it is important formula Take a screenshot. Next, relative relative measure relative measure of 
standard deviation it's called it's called coefficient of coefficient of variation okay coefficient of variation and the formula for coefficient of variation is coefficient of variation is denoted by cv and formula is sd upon in the mod arithmetic mean into 100 okay we write it as a sigma upon x bar arithmetic mean is denoted by x bar standard deviation denoted by sigma into 100 okay and the coefficient of variation always express in a percentage it is always express in a percentage in percentage so it is in a percentage okay this is also a very important formula this formula very important formula okay see this is the example compute standard deviation and cv for the for this data okay data is individual data no frequency here okay so we use the formula which formula sigma is equals to under root under root summation x square upon small n minus x bar square okay what we required here we required x bar small n and summation x square okay now we prepare a table here this is my x 36 okay 15 25 10 and 14 okay what we required here x square so we find x square 36 square is 1296 okay 225 then 625 then 100 then 196 okay here we required a summation okay summation x square so addition of this what is addition 2 4 4 2 okay now what we required we required x bar how to find x bar what is the formula for x bar it is the summation x upon small n summation x means addition of this okay it is 100 okay total of x total of x is 100 and small n is 1 2 3 4 5 upon 5 so x bar is so it is 20 square okay put all values in the formula sigma is equals to semi under root summation x square means 2 4 4 2 upon small n is the 5 minus 20 square okay so it is after calculation what we get here we get 88.4 take a square root so 88.4 is 9 point something 40 21 okay cv so how to find cv cv sigma upon x bar into 100 percentage so sigma is 9 4 2 1 upon here x bar is 20 into 100 so cv is 47.01 percentage okay this is the example for standard deviation and coefficient of variation for the only observation okay for only observation formula is this summation x square upon n minus x bar square okay take a screenshot